the cyclicals are leading the way again, just like they did yesterday. Uh, to see the energy stocks, some of the financials, some of the industrials outperform, and some of these uh, big high PE growth stocks lag a bit. That's uh, different from where we've been most of this year. I think that's telling us that uh, we're going to have an economy that's okay, and we're eventually going to va- get a vaccine, and we'll eventually have a president. So, so you think it's pricing out the risk of a contested election? You think it has to do with, with the fact that Biden has held his lead in the polls and, and this whole notion of a blue wave comes big stimulus? Is that what's playing out too, I, Bob? I, yeah, I think, Sarah, the biggest disappointment for the market would be the uncertainty of a contested election. You know, we don't know for days, God forbid, weeks. Markets won't like that. But if we get an answer uh, relatively soon, I think the markets, uh, almost regardless of the outcome, will breathe a sigh of relief. In terms of a Biden or a blue uh, a wave, I think the market's saying, yeah, we'll get a bigger stimulus bill, and they're liking that. And that is a positive for the economy. But s- at some point, the market's going to say, but that also means higher taxes and more regulation, shouldn't I worry? But that's for further down the line. Hey, Shannon, uh, Sarah raises the point about something that gets contested and is very contentious and elongated. Uh, I think the prediction markets say about a 75 percent chance we get a winner declared by the end of the week. But very short term, how do investors position for a tail risk uh, if, in fact, this gets very ugly? Institutional investors have already been doing that for the last week. You've seen a significant amount of hedging on the institutional side for a protracted period of volatility and in the volatility space protracted as, you know, seven to 10 days or so. Um, I think, you know, investors need to be looking at this in terms of what's going to happen next year. And, you know, to Bob's point, we're seeing we saw significant stimulus from the Fed. We saw significant fiscal stimulus already. And regardless of what happens in this election, we will see more stimulus. It may look different between, uh, you know, a blue wave or a split Congress. And so I think that over the course of the next week, you know, looking for opportunities to continue to add to asset classes like equities, like perhaps high yield bonds, those more risk on asset classes to position your portfolio for 2021. There will be the tailwind of improving economic growth. I care more about therapeutics than the vaccine, um, but I think we're also going to see some success there. And so I think that investors need to be looking to next year um, and really looking past this shorter term period of volatility. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.